All right, guys, Coach Davino here. Today, I want to talk about catching. I want to talk about six responsibilities that a catcher needs to do prior to the game to help his team out. But first, I need you to go down and hit the subscribe button and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date with all new baseball content coming out on our channels. All right, guys, responsibility number one for a catcher prior to the game is go over the other team's roster, okay? If you played them before, you'll know their players. If you haven't played them before, get with your pitching coach. Uh, if you have the lineup, go over the lineup with your pitching coach and your pitcher and know the different strengths and weaknesses of the other team's lineup, who's their power hitters, who's their bunters, who's their contact hitters, who could run on their team. If you played them before, maybe your uh, coaching staff has a scouting report, Go over that scouting report, see what those players did the game before when you played them. And, and so you know how to call the pitches if you are calling the pitches or if your coach is calling the pitches, how you could be an extension of the pitching coach on the field and help your pitcher out. Responsibility number two, the catcher, is get on the field early prior to the game, okay? Know how the field plays and how level the field is infield is or how bumpy it is so take a ball okay and try to roll it down the line here okay so you see how the ball rolls okay and if a bun is down the line you'll see that if it comes in foul okay if you have a baseline not here we have all grass but if you have a baseline maybe it hits the lip and it can roll back or it hits the lip inside and it'll roll foul okay so you want to make sure that you roll that ball down there and see how the field plays so you know when a ball is bunt, how, how you can read the ball down the line and know when you need to get it or when you need to let it go foul. Responsibility number three is to know the, the wind situation, okay? If it's windy that day, make sure that you pick up a piece of grass, put it up, see which way the wind is blowing or look at the flags in the outfield to know which way the wind is blowing so you can help your team and when the ball goes up you can see the ball going into the outfield and whether the ball is going to slice a certain way or go the other way also if the wind is blowing in you know when the ball goes up depending on how high it is or how far it is that maybe the wind might die it and your outfield needs to come in so Knowing that the wind situation and how the weather is going to play that day could also help your team out tremendously. Responsibility number four is to know your backstop. Here we have a short backstop and it's a fence. But depending on where you're playing, um, it might be a longer backstop. It might be a cement backstop. It might be a padded backstop or a brick backstop. So take a ball and throw the ball to the backstop and see how the ball carries off the wall. If it's a brick backstop, it might come back really fast. If it's a padded backstop, it might die. Or you can see here with the fence, depending on if it hits the pole or not, it might die and stay there. So know how your backstop plays. So you know that if it's a wild pitch or a ball that gets by you and there's runners on base, you know how that ball is gonna come off the wall and you could be able to field it better or if it's going to die, you know you're going to have to hurry up and get there. Or if it's far back, you know you got a long way to go. This will also help you with fly balls, okay? If it's a pop-up and it's in foul territory, you know how much room that you have, either down the lines to help your team out, or you know for yourself, and you know how much room that you have and if you can make the play or not. Responsibility number five is going to be making sure that your playing surface around the plate and behind the plate is smooth and there's no bumps and it's uh, clear of any um, rocks or build up dirt in, uh, into little balls. You wanna make sure that it's smooth. So here, okay, our surface is not that good. It, it just rained earlier today, so we have a line. But when we make the field uh, pretty good and we rake it and whatnot, we want to make sure that this surface in front of the plate is smooth, okay? So when a pitcher throws a ball and it doesn't reach the plate and he bounces it out in front of the plate, we want to make sure that it's smooth coming back towards us. If it's bumpy and there's a, a lip or there's little uh, rocks or build up dirt, 
it might hit one of those things and it's pop up and it goes into different directions. So you wanna make sure every inning that we're smoothing out this surface right here to be able to block well. Also doing the same thing back here, making sure this surface is smooth back here because one, if we're gonna to throw to a base, we wanna make sure that this surface is, is smooth and leveled out so we, our footwork is good and we're not slipping or sliding. Also too, if he drops a ball back in here and it's in the dirt, we wanna make sure that when we block it, that the surface is smooth and it's not gonna change directions on us when we go down to block. Okay, so always make sure that the surface behind the plate and in front of the plate is smooth and clear of any debris. Lastly, responsibility number six is to know your umpire, okay? When you get out in the field, maybe sometimes that you know your umpire ahead of time before the game from your coaching staff, you wanna know the umpire's names. Make sure when you come to the play, you're shaking the umpire's hand, you're uh, introducing yourself, you're asking him his name, make sure that you're friendly with him. You want that umpire on your side, okay? You don't want him to be mad at you, you don't wanna be disrespectful or rude, so you wanna make sure that you introduce yourself, that you're friendly with him. If he gets hit with a foul ball, you wanna make sure that you ask him if he's okay, take time out, walk out to the mound if you can, give the pitcher the ball so he has a break and 